we do want to get to that, but I want to go back to Tremblay for one second, only because uh, this scene is deeply disturbing, obviously. And, <laughs> and, and, uh, and we and we I've heard uh, we read a story today about I know Stephen King told you to dial some of that back a little bit. Um, uh, so I guess there's two part question. Is the director's cut the, the original scene you showed him before you dialed it back? No, it was more violent. Uh, so, so the uh, the director's <laughs> cut has um, it's interesting because you talk about the difference between the frontal and the profile in yeah. the bar. That was all the difference in the Jacob Tremblay scene. Oh, okay. all of it. Um, and and so uh, the the theatrical cut on all of his close ups, we're in profile. Okay. Um, and the idea was that if you're not directly in his line of vision, that it would be somehow less upsetting. Yeah, it's not. In the original it's cut, not. it's not. I know, it, it didn't work. Uh, in, the, uh, in the original cut, we were always in this frontal locked, dead on close up. And in the version that Steve saw, there were two more stabs. Okay. One of which sprayed his face with blood. because And the spray when, is in the, in the director's cut. I saw the spray last night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, so then I guess that is, yeah, then that would be the version he saw. I thought okay. we'd kept that out. Okay. Oh no. But if, if, if he got sprayed <laughs> in the face, that's the, that's what Steve saw where he was like, Ooh. Oh um, Mike, there's sprayage, man. Yeah. There, I mean, it, it was, it, it was brutal. <laughs> now, so this is a guy so who own, ripped Georgie's arm off is, is yeah. what I want to argue. You know, <laughs> here's, this is the thing. We were really, the, the whole evolution of this scene has been fascinating to me because yes, this is the guy that killed kids all over the place. In, Gage, you know, not Gage just your, and yeah, Pet Cemetery. Gage and, Creed, yeah. yeah. Um, like, and, and my whole thing initially was, I was like, oh, we're going to be, this isn't going to be a thing because we're just not going to show anything. Like yeah. you're never going to see little, little, um, you're not going to see his little arm ripped off. You're not going to yeah. see little dead Gage with the, the autopsy scars. Like we're not going to do any of that. Right. We're just going to be here, and you're going to hear it, which is worse anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's why the that's why the movie seven that's why the movie seven is so effective because the yes. violence is all off camera, and you have to imagine how those people died. It's like it's way worse that way almost. And so we knew that intellectually, like prior to making this, you could have cornered me and said, like, what's worse, the implied violence or or explicit? And I would have said, oh, implied is always worse than the imagination. Yet we still foolishly thought. Uh, that that wouldn't be the case here. Um, and that, you know, the book it, it kind of tiptoes around what happens right. to him. Um, the book writes around it. And, uh, and I thought that the movie would do the same. The thing no one was prepared for was Jacob. Mm-hmm. Um, and we should have been. Like, the, you know, I, I'd done a movie with, with Jacob when uh, early in his career, when he was like seven years old. And even then thought he was the best young actor I'd ever worked with. Mm. And so when, when, when we called him and said, Hey, you want to, you want to play this part? Um, and he was real excited about it. And, and uh, he was like, Oh yeah, I'm going to, I have a great idea. Like this is going to be really scary. And we we're like, okay, sure. And we all showed up full of swagger and it was like, yeah, you know, we're going to, we're just going to roll. We're just going to, we're going to have somebody down there flicking the blood because we want a little bit of splash on his chin. Not, not what you guys saw. That was a little, (laughs) little more than we thought (laughs) would happen. Um, But uh, you dumped the entire elevator blood on Tremblay from the shining. (laughs) Sissy (laughs) Spacek at the prom. (laughs) I was like, what's going on? (laughs) Um, And and Rebecca, who's pretty fearless, you know, was full of attitude. And when she met Jacob, who had been doing another movie, so we never rehearsed with him, you know, like he, I would talk to his father and he's like, we're rehearsing ourselves. And it's really, it's really good. It's really good. It's really upsetting. Yourselves? What what do you mean you're rehearsing that scene yourselves at home? (laughs) Well, it's a very typical thing with, uh, (laughs) with child actors that, you know, their parents will run a scene with them. A bunch, in fact, Hmm. before they ever get to set. It actually makes my job a lot easier when their parents are, are as good at it as, as Jacob Tremblay's are. Um, but I knew they were working on the scene. They weren't worried about it. Jacob was really confident about it. He showed up and is, he's the sweetest, most charming kid you'll ever meet anyway. And Rebecca was even, uh, oh, get ready, Jacob. We're going to mess you up. Like, oh, true not. We're coming to get him. <laughs> and they walked up. They were all, like that whole group of actors was, they're the, they're the bad guys. They get to strut around set in cool costumes and say cool stuff. Yeah. And so they showed up to it just cocky. And we started with Jacob. We, when we rehearsed, we didn't 
put any emotion into it. I was like, Jacob, don't scream. We're just going to walk through it mechanically. So you don't get traumatized, you know, and we'll, we'll and save were you, it. Were you planning shoot. on, sh- on multiple, sh- multiple takes or did you want to try to get that in, in as few as you could? Oh yeah. Well, a uh, few as we could. Cause I, but that was about his vocal cords. Okay. I knew he was going to scream. I just didn't want to blow his voice out. I yeah, didn't, yeah, yeah. you know, he wasn't scared of anything. Um, the thing was, we, we, uh, we were starting on him though. We started on his frontal and his profile, which were running simultaneously. And um, he's like, no, nope, I got this. And I was like, do you want to do a dry, do you want to do anything with it? And he said, nope, I'm good. And we all went to the monitor and they, you know, Rebecca gets all into character and everybody's ready. And, um, and his dad leans over to me and he's like, you have no idea what you're in for. It kind of smirking. And I was like, oh, okay, like, like we know this is going to be a disturbing scene. It's going to be fine though. It's going to be, you know, it's but always dad's worse. Dad's on board. Dad's oh, on he was, board. Oh yeah. He was. Watch well, how he, my son can die. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's, he's just smirking and, and you know, he knows what's coming. We don't know. And, and the, the general idea was like, this stuff's always worse in the movie than it is on the set. Like on yeah. the set, the stuff tends to be fun and silly. Sure. Sure. Um, and so we roll and Jacob just lets loose and it's what you see in the movie. Um, and he's just screaming and begging and he's ad libbing, you know, and he's just throwing in pleas and Rebecca can't get her lines out. Oh. He's just screaming over oh. and he's crying. Oh. And Rebecca comes in and she's like, uh, uh, yeah, this, this is, this is going to hurt because fear purifies steam. And then she starts crying. Oh. Right. Um, oh my God. Says, ah, you know, and we're in the, in the, uh, we were in the <laughs> van at the time. We had all the, all the monitors in this ride van on the, on the location. So we're all in there just staring at it, horrified. Oh my God. We get through to the end of the take. I, I'm like too shocked to call cut. He's just dead. Like he just, <laughs> he dies. <laughs> and we're all just staring at it. And I looked over to Trevor Macy and I was like, what have we done? <laughs> cut oh yeah it's cut <laughs> and I, I i i go out and jacob's dad is just grinning right <laughs> so, so jacob hops up off the ground just pop blood all over him <laughs> and um half the crew is gone like they have abandoned their posts so during the shot oh the grips God. and electricians and stuff were like nope and they just walked away. Um, <laughs> that was Sean's wife last night when they watched the movie. She said, yeah, nope, we're fast forwarding wife, through this. My wife had to say, she, she, she had a blanket on, and when it was getting up to it, getting up to it, she goes, I, I don't think I can watch this. And we did. We, we kind of skipped through it. And I'll tell no, you what I, happened. I don't blame you. This is how long it goes. We're skipping through, skipping through, and I'm like, okay, I think we're okay. And we click it on, and it's still going. <laughs> it's still okay, going. Yeah. Um, I want to ask real quick about Tremblay, too, just for this reason. Um, you know, he gets cast, and they say... Well, they're not going to cast Jacob Tremblay unless it's a big role. And for a, a while, the rumor was that he's going to play young Danny in flashbacks. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And I'm curious because you've said in interviews that you love to read reviews and you can't really stop yourself from reading about production. So when you read reviews like that, how hard is it for you to step in and just be like, you know, just to weigh in in some way, shape or form and, and wait for the movie to come out and answer the questions? That is hard, actually. Yeah. And, and, and that, that, that one in particular, people were like, was clearly playing Danny. And I'm like, no, no, no. But, I, you know, I. I'm I'm really not supposed to work against the movie yeah. uh, until it's out anyway, and and um, but yeah, that stuff is tough for me. Not not piping up, and that one in particular was tricky because you know Jacob's really in incredible demand. We I don't think would have had uh, time, yeah, and he's too old to play Danny um, yeah. in the flashbacks. But uh, we would he didn't have the time. He only had a couple of days to give us anyway. He was off doing all sorts of stuff. Right. And, and so he did it cause he loved, he loves the shining. <laughs> uh, Jacob loves the shining. And, um, and we, we had, we then, uh, like He's an old soul, Jacob Tremblay. <laughs> no, he really is. He is he's like a 40 year old. Like, dude. Yeah, he's, um, Jacob was, was like one of the most professional people on the before I wake set. And I'm including myself in, in the other camp. <laughs> <laughs> like that was my second movie and I was trying to figure it all out and Jacob just had it down. Like yeah. he's just, he's, he's always been that way. But, um, but yeah, uh, he was like, no, nah, this is really exciting. This is fun. I'd love to be part of the movie. Um, it'd be great to see you guys again. Cause like I, I work with the same crew all the time. And, mm-hmm. and so if he remembered them very fondly from the other movie too, and so like, I'd love to see everybody and come hang out. Um, that's awesome. But I was terrified they were going to leak it. Uh, mm. 
and I think they did actually, if I remember oh, right, really? TMZ had it. Yeah. Um, and that stuff always, for us, it was going to be like, no one's going to think we're going to kill him if they see Jacob Tremblay. Right. Like if, if they see him pop up the most recognizable child actor in the world, they're going to be like, Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. He's in this. And then when we kill him, people can be like, what? Uh, and so, um, you don't kill him, Mike. You, it, it's worse than killing him. It's like, it's yeah, worse. It's, 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 it's the Drew Barrymore scream effect. Like yeah. You see Drew yeah, Barrymore. Yeah. And you're like, Oh, yeah. she's going to be in this whole movie. <laughs> Not so much. Better, I still feel bad. And um, I, it was the, we did maybe a hundred versions of that sequence over the course of post. No, no scene changed more than that one. Um, and you'll see the artifacts all over. You never hear him full voice once the first stab happens. All the audio is pulled back like he's underwater and it's like drenched in reverb and stylized. And you can hear the true not breathing way louder than you can hear him screaming. Like we, we did all sorts of things to try to like get away from it. Um, without, there was a certain point we always knew was there where if we backed off too far, uh, the scene, its importance in the movie would no longer be there. Yeah. And that without it, we didn't have the engine that yeah. launched Abra and Dan into the rest of the story and that yeah. illustrated the stakes for her. Like what a pop song, a pop song over the top of it. Just something light <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, for the soundtrack. Ace of bass, I, I, <laughs> you know, something, you know, just, <laughs> just drop it in there. <laughs> we, uh, we, and I'm not kidding about this. Uh, well, we were editing it because you can hear we're, we're at Warner brothers in post and you can hear through the walls really clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Chris <laughs> Nolan's like, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, there, there, are other, there are other movies, like Annabelle comes home as editing next door. And like they, you know, there was this two and a half day period where we did the first assembly of that, where, where I'm going through the raw footage and trying to find everything. And it's yeah. just, just screams. And uh, so we had, we had dragged all the audio down and I would put stuff like Walking on Sunshine on really loud um, <laughs> like not only to drown out the screams for the other offices but because after about after a few hours of going through the footage yeah. of this like i wanted to die you know <laughs> just in the edit um like, like you guys you know the viewer gets to endure that scene for uh i think all in inclusive of the Abra bit in the middle of it. You know, the yeah. whole thing's four, four and a half minutes or something. And like then the that. dig up later is even, it's terrible too. The dig up. Yeah. Well, that's, that was a benefit. Yeah. yeah. That was, um, that's fake up Tremblay is what we called him. That was a little funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no, wait, really? We, we are a pun driven show. So thank you for that. Fake up Tremblay. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Yeah, that was a little little fake up. Um, you know, Jacob had had his his head uh, life cast when he did Wonder, um, oh, and wow. uh, so we got our, our hands on that to make this dummy. Um, so that's his his life cast from that movie. Uh, put on this little statue that was all gutted and it was horrible. And yeah, little fake up we kept in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> was, we never wanted Jacob to see him because uh, they were on set on the same day. And, like Jacob cannot see fake up. Um, and, uh, <laughs> Jacob also have a, a grinning father uh, grinning, uh, upset. Yeah, that, that was Bob Kurtzman yes uh, like, <laughs> he was the one smirking uh, whenever Jacob was around and he made it like the whole like chest cavity was open and it was really it was like a like a turkey carcass after Thanksgiving. It was so, <laughs> it was so like it was way more Jeez. than we were I was like I said to him, I was like, this thing's buried. Like, I'm going to see, like, the edge of his nose. Like, <laughs> I, this, none of this was necessary. And Bob was like, wow, it's pretty cool, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and and uh, so Fake Up was just hanging out, you know, by the craft <laughs> service table. <laughs> and when Jacob hopped up, and his dad kind of smirked at him. And they, 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 I'll never forget it. He hopped up. Walked past his dad and they high fived. Oh, that's like his weird. dad just put his hands up, high fived, that's and Jacob weird. walked over to Crafty to eat candy. Well, we were all like crying and <laughs> fucked up. Um, <laughs> 
and it was uh, we shot that scene on his 12th birthday so we brought out a birthday cake <laughs> wait, after wait, wait. this is all true yeah you keep, oh my adding, God. you keep adding stuff that makes this way more unbelievable i know this What's is all true though i swear to god so it's so it's his 12th birthday <laughs> Jake, they shot the scene on his twelfth birthday. Yeah. It um, was his twelfth birthday when they shot the scene. So we had a cake that was made in the shape of the baseball jersey with the number nineteen, and it was red velvet cake. So when you cut it up, it was red inside. Um, and oh, we brought that out and sick sang bastards. To him. I know well, it was that was it was before we saw what he was going to do, and we were all feeling really just like <laughs> yeah, it's just another day. Like, yeah, yeah. Killing Tremblay. About it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then we saw what he did and we all felt like awful. And and um but we brought it out, we had cake, we sang. He's covered with blood. There's various <laughs> pictures of him just like <laughs> with his cake and the blood. Yeah. Um and, uh and then he left. He said good night, you know, that was so fun, everybody. Bye. And um and he left and the cast recovered, and then we wheeled little fake up out and buried him. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh and then Ewan and, and Cliff Curtis had been, you know, they they had a later call because we had to do the death scene. Yeah. So they weren't there for any of that. And so Ewan and, and Cliff show up. They're ready to, to dig a hole. They're just like, hey, what did we miss? How was it? We're all like still shaking. And, um, <laughs> and like Rebecca Ferguson just doesn't want to talk about it. And he was like, how go with the kid? She quits She's acting. Like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, um, she quits acting. She <laughs> quits. Um, but, uh, and she did all of her stuff. Uh, like all the shots of her when she talks to him and when he's like, is this going to hurt? She's like, yes. And like, all the roaring like in his face stuff he was gone right like oh, we, wow. we did that after jacob left set she, she couldn't look him in the eye and do that 